Alright. Yes. So, you know, we're going to discuss real quick the genius. That word is kind of funny because when you think of the genius, you get the word gen, genie. You know, now you're getting into where you're talking about demon. The word demon, I don't know how it gets from gin to genie, but it's associated with genius. And so when you look at that, what ties them together, you will find in Greek and um, early English cultures, which is the word demion, spelled D-A-I-M-O-N and D-A-E-M-O-N. Now, when you look those up, you're going to see a word tied to it, which is intelligence. When you look at the word intelligence, you get this thing now. You passed the word, but I'm taking it from here. Melancholy. Melancholy is a situation that happens to a lot of intelligent people once they reach a certain level of understanding that it opens up what's called your doth gate. It's right here between your eyebrows, not the pineal. The doth gate is the entrance for what you call your demion, or what we call today in present time your demon, to come and sit upon your pineal. He comes with about a million other spirits, and they're going to start working on cleansing your body and making you see your... Um, true self. If you was not conscious, you're going to be conscious now once the demion get on you and you're going to face all the egotistical stuff you did and all the lies and fake belief stuff. You're going to face them all. Everything you got in the shadows is going to come to the light. And so that's what the demion do. But they call it a demon because the church went and switched it around and made it a negative energy because the world was looking for a demion. That's what Socrates and Plato was bragging about, that they got a demion. And you see how intelligent they are? They wrote Neoplatism, Platoism. <clears throat> they got theirs, though, from Egypt. But it's through intelligence. The Gnostics tell you, too, that the only way you could defeat a Dodebroth is if you gain intelligence. So that way you can make it through. When I research it, then, you look in Egyptian writing, like by Imblicus, who wrote in the 18th century, he was closest to the Egyptians because he got his from um, this guy named Ch Ch Chiamon. Chiamon was a high priest in Egypt. He taught Neo Nero. So Chiamon writing will be the closest you get to anything you want to learn about Egypt, straight up raw data, or Imblicus, or Godfrey, Arthur Godfrey, I think his name is. They always was going against the Jews and telling the truth about Egypt. But anyways, you need the demion. Once you get to, um, intelligence, oh, oh, I was saying about Imbicus in his, his writings, he's talking about the Egyptians and with their positions of the gods, the demions, and the um, soul. And that's the hierarchy, you know, versus the soul, that's an earth one. And then you have the demions, which is air, and then you have the gods, which is ether. And so that's the science of where... You get this demon and demion, but you need it. We lost it now. We lost our spirituality because that's the one that come on. Now, seeking intelligence is like seeking the truth of nature, nature science. You know, you read them books by Agrippa and follow them. It, it guides you through the stars, to trees, to rocks, to unite yourself through all the forces. Once you do that, that's when the intellectual you're going to come or your demion, and they'll guide you through the whole astral projection and ascension. It's the only way to God, though, I'm telling you, because that's what we're missing, the, that missing link that you can't see everything and see Jesus and see God. They're hidden inside the eyes of the demion. The demion is the reptilian, which changes your eyes to the way how minds be looking so that you could get an idea of what you're looking for. Now, it's a scary journey. It's the journey of entering the Book of the Dead and coming in today. It's the initiation of the soul, and it's going to make you come to terms with a lot of things that you thought was. And it doesn't mean just come to terms in the sense of your inner self. It's like seeing the system and the government like if it was a matrix and you took the red pill and learned the truth of the system. It doesn't just apply to you. You got to know who people are in reference to you, what's going on, their mistakes, and what they're doing, everything, and, and on a whole. It's a whole reunification, revamping, called yoga, which is union with all the spirits. So all your organs belong to these demions. If you have bad health, it's because your demions left you. They're the ones who fight off germs and infections and keep you going. You have demions that 
take care of your body, keep you standing, everything. Everything is part of different processes that it works with them. And they work with the higher you, your intelligence. So that's the how the theory of the Damien go, the Demion, the demon. There's only one. Don't let the church fool you and start believing in this demon stuff. Because if you do, you're going to be a lost little lamb that is just... Um, soulless and don't realize you're soulless but you'll look at these videos and get emotionally um, sensations from watching it and can't think for yourself and you will believe whatever you want I just want you to understand that because it's real it's not something we play with because we read one book and think we know when it's not actually written in one book it's actually out of study and research to find the truth it's hidden from us and they're gonna keep hiding it while they hide themselves and they worship in it the right way they got you think that it's satanicism and it's luciferian when it's not it's about god there's only one god you could take a full circle and say devil god but if you put your god if you put god over the devil and say he's great then that's what you believe you believe the devil is great if you believe that there's that, that there's an opposing force to to god then you're still bigging up the opposing force. You're not bringing up God, because I look at it, he created everything, man. There's unity in everything. You just don't understand it. So on that note, I'm going to use the oldest book in the world on you, and that is the book of Job. It's not even from the Bible, but it's a real truth in it, because in it, it tells you that God, Satan, and all God's sons, which is God's sons, the gods, was sitting around talking about Job. You see, everybody's together. Ain't nobody separate. I just want you to know, and right there, when they say sons of God, that's gods. That's all it is. It just means the word gods. You understand? So that proves there's gods, and there's God, and then there's just Satan or God's right-hand man. That's his best friend. That's his stick man. If he wanted to see if you real, he sent him to go check if you real about what you're saying. That's how that works. University of Conscious Science, one love.